it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts, independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK. Thank you very much for joining me again today for a Top Tip Tuesday. We love Top Tip Tuesday. Well, I love Top Tip Tuesday. I hope you love it too. So I've been racking my brains on some top tips for you. Um, it's an interesting challenge to come up with something new every week, but I think I've cracked it today again. So she says modestly. Um, so I'm going to make a card from scratch today, which is slightly scary for me because I've got to make sure it works first time. Um, and I have nothing to follow other than what's in my head. But I have a friend's birthday coming up. She has um, very definite ideas about colour. It's what makes her her. And her very definite ideas about colour would be Teal, so let's say Bermuda Bay Coastal Cabana. Melon Mambo, you know, bright pink, bright purple. And it's got to be bright if it's going to be a green. Green's not actually one of her definites, but Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo and Bermuda Bay would make her very happy. So she's a friend of mine. I want to make her very happy. So I'm going to make her a card using those colours and I'm going to introduce some Coastal Cabana as well and some gold heat embossing and some gold, um, sorry, copper heat embossing and some copper foil. And I've just realised I haven't got my copper powder out and I have now. So um, my top tip, first of all, um, there's a number. So do remember that when you place a, an order in the UK of £150 or more, you get stamping rewards. And with your rewards, you can buy anything you want in the catalogue, absolutely anything you want that is, um, you know, that sort of money. So say you spent £150, you would get £15 in rewards. So you can either put that £15 towards one item that is more than that, or you can buy a number of items that are £15 or slightly over. You can't just keep adding, that's silly, um, so you need an item that will take you up to or slightly over £15 as your final item. But here's, a, here's number one top tip. Um, host sets. So the soft spring, which is what I'm going to use today, and all the information about um, earning stamping rewards is on page 205. Now, you can do it as a party. And if you want to run an online party, so if you've got crafty friends and you want to have a party, I am very happy to run you a virtual party. And the way that works is we set up a, se a separate Facebook group and you and your friends all become members of that group. And I run an online event that is exclusively for you guys. And generally the way it will go is that we have um, a welcome um, on a t at a time that suits everybody. And then we can have it either running over a weekend or we can have it running over a week um, where we have some scavenger hunts in the catalogue. We have prizes and those sorts of things. And any orders go towards a particular host code and then you as the hostess would, or indeed host, would get um, the host rewards. So you would get to choose whatever you want. As long as it goes over £150 in total for the sales, then you get to choose whatever you want for your stamping rewards. So the Soft Spring stamp set, if it were available to purchase other than with rewards, would cost £15. It's a photopolymer set, so £15 is a fairly uh, a fairly standard amount for one of our um, lower end um, value stamp sets. Uh, but if you buy it with host rewards, you only spend £9. So you get £6 back, if you like. So you've got £15 of rewards rather than spending all of them just on this. You can spend 9 on this and then the remaining £6 on something else, which could be towards one of the others. So there's the time for tags, which coordinates with the timeless label punch, which is part of the mosaic suite. Um, some really cute little images, and they all punch out brilliantly with the punch. Uh, great for all occasions. 
they're probably aimed towards uh, younger people rather than older people but I'm not sure that anyone can't have lots of birthday cake um, and this it's red rubber would be £20 if it was available retail or £12 with stamping rewards New Wonders another um, cling stamp set so red rubber £21 but only £12.50 with rewards great for any of your um, anyone who likes you know fairies and magic and those sorts of things fantastic for that believe you can again red uh, photopolymer because you're doing two-step stamping 20 pounds of value but 12 pounds of actual rewards i think that's it yes so four sets um, in the new catalog and they're all really pretty and you can mix and match them and they're yeah great value so that's top tip one um, and as I say, do contact me if you're anywhere in the UK. Just let me know if you would like me to run you an online party and I'd be very happy to do so. What it means is that if your friends are in Cornwall and you're in um, Scotland, you can still get together and have a crafty party. It's amazing. Technology. What? Anyway, so that was the first tip. That wasn't actually the tip I was going to give you. The tip I'm going to give you, and I know I've mentioned this before, but I've not done a top tip on it. Photopolymer. So these are really lovely stamps. Really, really lovely stamps. And I have already taken a white eraser and rubbed over them. I've not used them before, but I want them to have a key. Now, when you've done that, um, you may, if you want, you can clean them. Um, but what you're trying to do is you're trying to get... There's a, a sort of filmy, oily residue as part of the manufacturing process on the photopolymer stamps only. That means that they won't ink up fantastically first time sometimes. So I'm going to do a show and tell um, kind of thing and use the floral essence stamps to show you this. So I'm going to prep one and not prep the other. So let's take the large and the small flowers. And let me find a scrap, as in the back of where I've been doing some blends. Um, a scrap of Whisper White. Uh, actually, no, let's find a scrap of Whisper White that hasn't got something on the back of it. That's too big, that will do. So a scrap of ordinary, you know, that nice smooth Whisper White. This stamp, I'm going to rub over with my eraser to give it a key. The other way you can do it is you can rub it on the back of your hand. That will help as well. But you just want it to go slightly milky. So let me find something dark, early espresso, that'll do. That's, I hope you can tell, yes, you can see. This one is slightly milky, this one is clear. So if I then grab... Uh, let's do Granny Apple Green because it's on the top. I'm going to ink up my the one I've prepped and stamp. And we get a lovely crisp, even image. And if I ink this one up, just make sure it is fully inked, which it is. Let's go, let's go in a gap, shall we? Not so much. So, can you see, this one is lovely and crisp and all the lines are there and the solid areas are solid. And this one, particularly if you look here and here and here and here, in fact, pretty much everywhere, it's pooled. So, not so good. Now, probably if I were to ink it up again and stamp it, will probably get a better image. Yep, apart from the fact I've got a piece of fluff. So it is pretty much only the first time, sometimes the second time as well, but it's the first one that really matters. Um, so prep your photopolymer stamps. Get them ready to use. So that is my top tip for today. That said, I've still got a card to make. So let's make a card. Just clean these off so that they're 
nice and clean for next time I use them. And you'll see, if I get my early espresso, it's no longer milky, but it will still take the ink really well. Um, so it's the, the milkiness is really just so that you can test that you've done it right. But from here on in, it will be fine to use. But I just now, I just, whenever I get a new stamp set, apart from when I'm going to show you guys how to do this, um, the first thing I do is get my get my white eraser, and you want a really good quality white eraser, and just rub it over. And from there on, you will have good stamp. Excuse me, good stamping. Okay, so after which, so I'm making this up as I'm going along. I mean, it's whatever thus. Um, scrap paper, because I'm going to be stamping over the edge. I've got my happy ready to go for my birthday. Not my birthday, Claire's birthday. Um, so I need, I had a big block out. Where have I buried my big block? One of these days I am, and I have promised that I am going to do it. There we are. Um, I'm going to clean up my craft room because it's a disaster at the moment. It's nothing quite like a new catalogue coming out. Um, actually, let's pop it down. Photopolymer needs to be relaxed when you pick it up, particularly if it's long and thin. And as we're doing two-step stamping, trust me, you need it to be relaxed. Now, I'm going to have that there, and then the other bit coming in, hopefully there. Uh, or should I? No, no. No, I'm going to turn it round. <laughs> I'm going to have that there, and then that bit coming in there, and then I'll have the happy birthday down there. Right, OK. So, I need another colour. Just realised I need another colour. Only because I want to not have black. And I've got Sahara Sand, because Sahara Sand is a nice kind of pale neutral. So, let's ink that up and just... And I think, actually, I may even go second generation. Yes. You're going to think I'm mad, probably. Oh, there's a blackbird outside the window. So pretty. It's an, And it's a female blackbird, so I was going that way, wasn't I? Yes, so this one's going over here. Don't you love that I've got this in my brain? So let's pop that there. So there is a reason why this friend of mine likes these colours. Um, she grew up in the very bottom end of Cornwall, in Penzance, and what she says is that the colours that she likes are the ones that remind her of the, um, of the weeds, undergrowth, flowers, whatever you want to call them, that were growing round her when she was a child. Actually, the one that I want. Um, and these are the colours that remind her of growing up in Cornwall as a child. So, no, let's go back to, oh no, I need to make it relax. Relax, relax. Pick it up. And again, I'm going to ink up, stamp off and come in. I'm going to have quite a lot of it not on. So that's that. Clean that off. I do like Sahara Sand. Second generation I prefer, I think, but I do like Sahara Sand. Right, OK, so that's those done. So now we just have to do the fun bit of filling in the colour. Now I'm thinking this is probably lavender, um, so that's what I will make that. And I'm... actually, will I? Yes, I will. And this I'm thinking, well, except wisteria is the same colour. So I'll make these more foxglovey, I think. Yep, we'll have foxgloves here and wisteria here. Sometimes they can be a, a, around at the same time. Uh, that's my theory and I'm sticking to it, as they say. Uh, so I'm going to go foxglove melon mambo. So welcome to my um, stamp staining. Just... And those go... Now, this is not the easiest thing with Sahara Sand as your background, but fortunately, this stamp is not supposed to be perfectly lined up. So it's okay. Um, 
it's supposed to be one of those, you know, there or thereabouts ones, which is just as well. So that's that. Let's get the leaves done. And that's probably going to be all right on a D block. So we don't need the Melamambo anymore because that's done. Leaves. Yep. I do my I do miss lemon lime twist, and it's only been gone a short while. That's probably why I miss it. Um, I'm sure I will get over it, but there we go. So there's our leaves, and as you see, they're not meant to be absolutely perfectly lined up um, because <laughs> there isn't enough of them to perfectly line up. So that's that. Then wisteria. I'm calling it Wisteria. I do need that again, but not just yet. How are we doing time-wise? 16 minutes. Well, you did get two top tips. So I'm doing Gorgeous Grape. Um, I could do Highland Heather, but Gorgeous Grape is more her colour. So I'm going Gorgeous Grape. And this is the first time I have used this. So I'm trying to think. I think this might just be one of those, you know what, go for it. Yeah, it is. It's one of those, you know what, go for it. So that's fine. And then I need my little block, which I've got. And that, which I think are leaves. I think, I think it's leaves. Could be wrong, but I think it's leaves. I just don't know where they're supposed to go. Um... I'm looking at the stamps, trying to work out... Oh, OK, they go there. Right, OK, so I'm only going to ink up one of them because I've kind of stamped in the wrong place. It's fine, you know, it's me. Um, which is probably why I couldn't work out how to do the stamping. I think this is all supposed to be further down and then there's a leaf there. But, hey, it's my card, guys. It's how it is. Right, so that's that. Now there is still one stamp I haven't inked up, which is, you know, almost criminal, so let's do it. And that's our little flying thing. Um, dragonfly, I suppose. So I'm going to bring out my Sahara sand again. And I think we'll go one, two, three. Three dragonflies because they fill a space nicely. So that's those. Oh, you can see I didn't stamp that first one very well, can't you? Let's just try and get his head and his wing. Yay! You will see what I did was I only inked up the top bit that I'd missed, and then it was very easy to roll the stamp over what had already been stamped. And nobody will know but us, the few hundred people that will be watching this. Right, I have already die cut the happy and I'm using from the new catalogue the hmm, a wish for everything bundle. So it's word wishes and a wish for everything. I think it's called a, w a wish for everything bundle. Let me check because as we know, the bundles are at the front of the catalogue now. Hurrah! Yes, a wish for everything bundle. So there are dies for St. Patrick's, Christmas, Father's, Valentine's, Thanksgiving, Day, New Year's, Halloween, Easter, Happy, Merry, Mother's. And then there are sayings, as in, you know, bits for the inside of your card and then words for the outside of your card and the stamp set, including happy and wishes. So they do work on their own. You don't have to have the dies. But I love these smaller word dies. So I've already cut this in copper. And then I'm going to stamp happy, sorry, not happy, birthday in copper on a strip of Coastal Cabana. So let's clear the decks a bit. And Bursa Mark, embossing buddy. Always keep your embossing buddy with your Versamark ink, then it's there when you need it. it. Took me only about three years to get that one through my head. So birthday, and it's 
red rubber cling so you, we can see the stamp. It's tiny weeny, um, which is all I need. Then grab my copper embossing powder and So let's pop that out of the way. Grab my cheese board and my heat tool. Not necessarily in that order. Oh, it was in that order actually. Um, this needs a clean. Uh, and I'm just warming up my heat tool. Do not use a cool, as in not fully hot, heat tool if unless you particularly want your cardstock to warp. And then come in. Now it's going to curl up a bit, but it will be fine. And you see it's now flattened out again. Turn that off. If you use a cool, as in not heated up, heat tool, you will pretty much guarantee to warp your card. So don't do it. Right, let's get rid of the scrap paper because that's annoying. I've got the classic label punch, which I'm struggling to open. Make sure your embossing is clean, as um clean, dry. And then I'm just going to line this up towards the end. Punch. And then pop it back in. And line it up so that it's central. And then you've got a teeny weeny birthday, birthday banner. So I have to admit, I've used some of our retired uh, double sided adhesive strip. Um, a sheet rather because I've got it but what you can do and I've said this before is bear with me while I just pop this down while I actually know what I'm doing right so what you can do I've just tacked that down is and do keep it in a little pot if you do whoops flying sponge um, lid even get a piece of sponge make sure you know it's got glue and then get your silicon mat, pop a bit of the multi-purpose liquid adhesive, pick it up, and then on the back of your die cut, just tap it over. I think I've done a top tip on that before. Um, I maybe do another one soon. So that's going to be happy, and that's going to be birthday. And I just need a couple of mini dimensionals on the back, and then we can put the card together. Hurrah, they say. You've been waffling on for minutes. Like, good grief, 32, 23 minutes. Yeah, I have been waffling on for minutes. You're right. You're right. Too much chatter. Whoever it was who said that, you're right. Uh, there. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to my friend. Right, OK. So I'm going to... Oops. Grab my snail and add some of that to the back of my card base. Pop it on Coastal Cabana. Now all the measurements, as ever, are on my blog. So don't worry about it. I've got the tiniest hair of a smidge of a border. Then... Um, I have got, I know I have because I put it out, a Bermuda Bay card base, tent fold card base. So that's just a half sheet of A4 um, folded, scored in the middle and folded to make our base. And then that gives us more teal. So more happy person. And... liquid adhesive
press from the back so that you don't smudge anything, get sticky fingers on it. And then once I've written my message, I will stick, I'll write that on a separate piece of card. Um, so if I make a mistake, which for me is likely, um, then I can just replace the card and then I'll stick it in the card to post. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Do remember, host sets are really, really good value. Let's just pop that back together. Um, the soft spring is just divine. I think it's going to be even better when I've learned how to line everything up properly. Um, but you saw it from scratch. It was, it was just going with the flow. Uh, and do remember, get yourself a good white eraser and that will be your saving grace when it comes to stamping solid images. I mean, this is meant to be a bit watercolory, but you will have seen from the perennial essence, crisp, crisp, not crisp. This makes the difference. So thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you need any of the products, they will be listed below. And there's also a link to my online store. There's a link to the blog post, which will have photographs, close-ups, all that good stuff, and a bit more information, um, and the dimensions, the products again. So do go and have a look at that. Uh, and if you don't already subscribe, it would be fantastic if you would. Um, and as I say, if you need the products and you're in the UK, you know what to do. Thank you very much indeed. I hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.